Hello again, students. Yes, I am wearing the same shirt because, yes, this is the same day, about five minutes before the last video you probably watched. But today, I am going to show you how Social Studies Weekly is going to work online. Whether in Ms. Stromick's or my class in the morning, you guys are just on different weeks, but you pretty much have the same thing. So, I went ahead on Google, not Google Classroom, Class Dojo, sent your parents your usernames, and your passwords are all Plato with a capital P. Your usernames are a little bit different, but usually it's some version of your first and last name. So sometimes some people have first name, period, last name, and then the number five, or just first name, period, last name, or last name, period, first name. So please make sure you check on class dojo for what I had sent your parents. Write it down someplace that you will remember it, like your planner that I know you still have because I checked all your desks. Good try. So I am going to log on to one of mine. I made a fake student account for myself so that way I can show you what you are going to see. My password is not play though. Good try though. <laughs> there is no fun over here. So logging in, you guys will see this screen. Yes, you can change your little avatar username somewhere. There can be a parent code if you want your parents to log on and see your progress. But let's start because you want to get some of these coins so you can play games. You're going to click on the Studies Weekly 5. Click on it, maybe sometimes a second time. Here are all of the weeks that you have left. So you will see we're almost done with the school year. This one that I have open is week 26. So I said, continue reading, the Louisiana Purchase. Your job is going to be to listen and understand everything they're saying. At the bottom, if you want some extra coins, you can answer these questions. And you'll see green, yellow, red. That's how difficult they are. So green is an easy question. Yellow is a hard question. Red, or red is the hardest question. But if you guys look and listen to it, you can earn those points real easy. What you are going to have to do is the crossword puzzle. So after you read all of these things, you have the choice of doing your think and review. I and see here, it says earn your coins here. Once you finish reading, you can collect coins. So now just by clicking on that, I have five coins. I'm not going to do the think and review questions. There's a let's write section, a did you know section. The did you know will help you with parts of your test. Also, crossword puzzle. Click on play. Now, you might not remember what these are, but it'll tell you. If I put in these random letters, you see how it went red for a second? So, see, it went red. That means that answer is absolutely wrong. So you're going to have to go back and delete it and find what's right. Miss Lugo, what if I don't remember? Mm -hmm. This is where you come up to publications. You're going to use your mouse or your uh, cursor and you're going to right click. Open in new tab or new window up to you. I like a new tab. When you do that, something else will pop up. If you click on it, what? That's right they have it in another window. So that means I can go through and let's say I'm looking for one of these answers. Wild animals, birds, or food, or fish hunted for food. So I can go through and I can look and try to find that answer, okay? So I would find it and type in game. Yes, I just gave you an answer. You're welcome. Did you see when it was correct what it did? It turned green. So that's a good indication that that is correct. If I spell it wrong, it also turns red. And it doesn't tell you what you spelled right or wrong. So you need to keep going back and forth and make sure that you have these open. I suggest having both of them open at the same time. As you're reading, see, go back when you're done with the section. So this is only a three minute section. Answer these questions, go into your crossword puzzle and see if anything has the answer. And if you click on it, it'll highlight how many, uh, where it is in here. The next thing is your test. Yes, you will have a test. So you're going to come up, come back up. And when you are back on your 
Florida Studies, Week 5, whatever. You get, go to Publications, it'll send you right back to the home screen. If you lose your place, it'll keep it for you. Take test. Now, again, I suggest having two screens up. One where it says continue reading. You can right click it, open a new tab, and it'll take you back to your where you were in the articles. Then you can click on take test. The test has been changed. So if you tell your friends, number one is this, number two is this, all of the questions are mixed up. Also, there are no typing questions. There are multiple choice. There are go down and pick a number. So three, five, seven, one, pick something random. There are also matching. So if I find the answer for label one, let's say I think it's this. I'm gonna put it where it goes. So let's say this is number two. I put it there. This is number four. This is number three. There might be multiple, or there might only be one. So you're going to have to play with it and see how it goes. Also, make sure you look for these ones. Check all that apply. That means you can pick more than one. All right? Make sure you're paying attention. With these, you're going to want to take it and put it where it belongs next to it. If you think it's William Clark is this person, it's this one, you need to switch them, you need to move them around, it'll kick them out. Then you click on finish test. It should give you some sort of score. Now, if you didn't answer all of your questions, it says, oops, please answer all the questions. And I'll highlight all the ones that you didn't do in red. Once you get an answer, or once you get your score back, that's your score. I'm not changing it, my stomach is not changing it, because you have the opportunity to go and use a double screen and see where it is in the article. So let's say I don't know about how Lewis and Clark ate. If I look through here, look, Lewis and Clark, healthy eating. I can go back and see and listen to it again and then go back into the test. So all of the crossword puzzle and the test, you have the ability to have your articles up with you. You can totally do this, but once you exit out of the test, let's see if you can get back in. Go back to your Florida Studies Weekly. It'll pop up. Take the test, and it clears, it doesn't clear out all of your answers. So you can leave the test where it is and come back to it if you need to. So if you want to do a little bit every day, you can do that, okay? You have the opportunity. You will be assigned it on Monday. It is due by Friday midnight. Do not wait until midnight to turn it in. No procrastinating, okay? I will check in with you, and if Thursday comes around and I'm not seeing your work, I'm going to send you a message saying, hey, are you having troubles? Are you good? Just be aware, your parents will also get a message. And they will also see your grades very easily and very quickly. You guys, if you have any questions, you know how to find me. Good luck and have fun learning. Bye.